Hey, Sun Devil fans, I'm Ina Lazarev with DJ Foster after a big 55-31 win over the Irish. Big win, big night, big statement. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Um, it's something that we, we had on our calendar we've been waiting for. I mean, we know that, I mean, it's just each game we just keep chipping away and chipping away, and we knew this is the one that kind of had to get us over that hill. I mean, it, it feels good that we're over it now, but we still got a lot, a long way to go to where we want to be. Was this the biggest game of your Sun Devil career? No, most definitely not. I mean, I think uh, the, the Pac-12 championship still was, uh, was one of the biggest games for me. I mean, just being on that stage as a sophomore, I mean, that was a big game. But, I mean, this is definitely almost right there. I mean, this was, as a team, I mean, this was probably one of the biggest games I mean, we've had since I've been here. What does this win specifically mean for you, your team, your program? Uh, just moving forward. I mean, this is kind of just something that we can get out of the way now. I mean, we, we got a long way to go. I mean, this is we wanted to be recognized nationally, and this was the step that we needed to take to, to get that opportunity. And uh, I think we obviously definitely took it. I mean, we still got a long way to go. I mean, next week on the road at Oregon State, I mean, anybody that's played there knows that's a tough place to play. So, I mean, we got to get our mind right and kind of refocus. It was a tale of two halves today mm -hmm. with a really dominant first half performance, and then you guys kind of came out and lost momentum. What happened in the second half? Yeah, we just really couldn't get too much going. I mean, it, it's kind of tough. I mean, we we feed off the defense, and the def def defense fe feeds off us. So, I mean, it was something that, I mean, one person made a play, and then everything just kind of started happening again. I mean, Lloyd Carrington had that huge pick, and then uh, we decided to be able to move the ball, and we needed to have that drive to kind of get that score, and we did. After 34 unanswered points in the first half, the Irish did score their first touchdown heading into halftime. What did Coach Graham tell you in the locker room? Did he give you guys a hard time? Uh, no, I mean, we should have scored that drive. I mean, we, we, had, a, we had a drop touchdown, and, um, I mean, that, that kind of set up a score for them. But, I mean, we, we just knew that it was 0-0. I mean, that's what we came in at halftime saying, Coach Graham was saying. I mean, at the end of the day, it's 0-0. We got to go back out there and play like, play like that. Demario Richard was phenomenal tonight. Yeah. What do you have to say about his performance and the growth that you've seen as a running back teammate? Uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, that's that's like my little brother. I mean, watching him go out there and just play play with the passion that he's playing with right now. I mean, it's just a it's a beautiful thing to see. I mean, I'm so glad and honored to to be back there with him and just have him running back there with me. On the defensive side, you were just telling us that you have never seen a group improve so much in such a small amount of time. Yeah, I mean, from from camp to where they are now, I mean, it's two completely different defenses, and uh, just to see the young guys. I mean, we got a lot of young guys playing, a lot of guys that are first year players. I mean, Jordan Simone. We got guys all over the board that just are playing big time football. And I mean, it's just it's a great thing. It's a championship defense. Can you pinpoint what changed or when it changed? Um, after UCLA, I think that, I mean, we made our mind up as a team. I mean, we, we knew that we can either go downhill or go uphill from here. And I think, I mean, we went into that week of practice. I mean, our defense, I mean, our offense, we all just kind of had a new mindset. And I think, I mean, we've just been kind of going forward since. It seems like you guys came uphill quite a ways. I know you're downplaying it, but this was a big, big win for you tonight. How important is it to put such a highly emotional game behind you and focus on the Pac-12? Um, it's great. I mean, we got three more Pac-12 games left, and I mean, each one are huge to, to get to where we want to be. So, I mean, it's great to get over this hump. Like I said, I mean, it was a huge game, and we're going to cherish this game, I mean, for the rest of the day. But, I mean, once tomorrow comes and Monday comes, we got to kind of put that, put it back on the back burner and just kind of keep going forward. And what is it that you will start doing tomorrow to start preparing for an Oregon State game next week? Get everything that, uh, from this game corrected, learn everything we can from this game, and just kind of move forward. Best of luck to you and congratulations, DJ. For DevilsDigest.com, I'm Ina Lazarev. Keep it right here for all of your latest ASU football news.